Hi, Aaron Martins at the final day of the Delta. Beautiful, but a little windy. Very windy today, actually. Down by the, down where we're running was 25 mile an hour winds today, almost all day. Um, but I got second, which is good. Uh, Justin's a super cool guy. I'm very happy for him. I wanted to beat him, believe me, but I, I did all I could do. I kind of fumbled yesterday. That's what got me. Weighing two fish that were under a pound, I think, really hurt me. I sat on some big ones too long. But uh, in practice, I, all I did was run around and look for fish. I ran on the troll motor probably 20 to 30 miles a day. With the Lithium Pros, I could do that. Uh, I'm literally running from uh, dark to dark every day. Uh, I actually killed them one day, which I've never done. Uh, but literally running 20 to 30 miles on the troll motors. Just running and gunning little banks and stuff I've been to before. Trying to find areas that are productive. Uh, I found in practice there's a lot of areas that weren't productive. There's no fish in them. You can see down, you know, six, seven feet at low tide some areas, and you can see everything. You know, if you, they're in the grass, you spook them. But there's some areas that didn't have them, and in some areas that have a few, and in some areas that had a lot. And the areas that had a lot ended up getting kind of crowded. Obviously, guys found them. Uh, but I, that's all I did in practice, just looking, and um, I didn't catch too many just fishing this time. I actually was really hunting them down. It, we're a little later than we were when I won here before. So I had to really kind of find the fish and see them and then try to catch them. But my primary bait was a, uh, I had a 7.3 medium heavy Enigma rod, which is phenomenal. I wish uh, Enigma would send me a couple more as I only have one. But that was definitely my, my primary rod. Uh, it's uh, paired up with 20 pound Sunline uh, Sniper with a 4 uh heavy cover hook and a quarter ounce uh, sinker, tungsten sinker with a punch skirt. With the, what really seemed to work for me was the um, Rage Crawl, the large Rage Crawl, Green Pumpkin by Strike King. And that was my primary bait. That's what I caught most of my big fish on. Uh, I caught some on a, a Key Tech uh, swim bait, uh, reeling it and, and pitching it on, on some of the fish I was fishing for. And I caught a handful on the drop shot. You know, on that one, I, I, I did fish 16 pound with a bait caster, pitching rod, 7.3 medium. But I actually tend to use the spinning rod with a 10 pound fluoro with a 12 pound braid. Uh, that was just easier and it, it, I could finesse them a little more, use a smaller weight. Uh, that's a come on frog, but you know, nothing I really weighed in. Um, really, I just in, in, in between, uh, you know, look, I just kind of got to the point where I was just looking for them. Uh, it was kind of a waste of time for me to actually cast the lure and retrieve it because it was getting in my way and, and eating grass out and moss, and it was just easier just to put the rods down and and uh, go down the bank and look for them. I, that's what I should have done every day, all day. I, I actually just started doing that yesterday, later, and um, should have done it more yesterday for sure. But uh, that's it. The fish were very, very, very hard to catch. And uh, and uh, the, my sunglasses, yeah, I, I wear uh, the solar bats. I got my signature series. I wear the, the blue uh, blue mirrors, which work awesome. Um, very clear, I can see really good. Uh, I use the large lens um, the whole time. And uh, you can get my rods at Monster uh, Fishing Tackle right now. Uh, actually, I might have to order some myself. <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of happy with second. Uh, kind of frustrated just because I weighed two fish. Or like one was under a pound yesterday, and I had a, a pound or two, so I had two one-pound fish. And uh, I was, I knew I could go out and catch some two and a half threes uh, if I had to. And I just got stuck on some big ones, and that, that's how it happens. And that's why Skeet's not fishing today. I talked to him and. And it's easy to do here. You're, you're sitting on an eight pounder. That's a huge fish, and that'd be giant for you. You know, I'd, I'd, like today I sat one seven or so, and, and it just if she would have bit, I would have, I would have won easy. But that, that's that's the trick of the game. It's trying to know when to, to leave. And, and some of these fish will trick you. Like you get ready to leave, and all of a sudden a fish will turn on you and kind of flash your sight on you, and you're like, make you stay in there a half hour. It's like <laughs> I call them time bandits, but. Uh, they're time bandits all day. I call them time bandit, as I can tell by looking at them. But I'm happy. It was a good event. We're in the Havasu, which is one of my favorite lakes on the planet. Love Havasu. Actually, it's one of my favorites, but I also have one more there than anywhere. So maybe I can win that one. We'll see. Thank you.